Welcome back. I hope paper one went somewhat decent at least. It was genuinely quite a difficult paper compared to the questions I've done previously, but I think a lot of the questions were still quite doable with the occasional semicircle question, which gave me very bad memories of another similar question where I had to draw triangles and there were circles involved. I think we all know which one I'm talking about. Um, that one gave me a lot of trauma as well back in 2022 in my GCSEs. This is some A-level biology last minute tips. I'm just kidding, it's maths. But this is for paper two now. Paper one and paper two, they're pretty much the same thing. They're both pure maths. So the reason I made this video more so isn't the tips themselves, because if you've watched my previous one, you should know everything that I've been doing for these exams. It's gonna be the exact same thing. All I'm doing for this paper is just getting that exam practice in. So you know how I did the math student questions for every single topic. That genuinely really helped a lot because there are some really small things in every topic that I just just completely forgot about and if it wasn't for those maths genie questions I would have probably not gone over them and not realized those were things that I had kind of forgotten now from the topics and questions that didn't come up in the last paper I'm talking about parametrics partial fractions um, what else didn't come up vectors Oh, vectors okay we're definitely getting a question of vectors the likelihood of those topics coming up is near 100% right especially parametrics know them so so well because if you do, the question that's going to come up, at least you'll be guaranteed to get the question right, unless it's some peak, peak question, who knows. But the point is, for this exam now, you should be targeting your revision from now. You shouldn't really be doing practice on functions, for example, because we got two questions on functions that's probably not going to come up. That being said, I don't want you to completely neglect functions, especially if you really, really don't understand anything in it. Still go over it a bit so you can do questions on it, but put most of your revision to towards parametric questions and towards um, vectors and also the topics that did come up in the previous paper but still have a very good likelihood of coming up in this one as well because there are a lot of topics that have a lot of overlap between the two papers. From now you should kind of be prioritizing yourself right not just with this um, exam but with the whole A level in general because I think if you didn't do as well in paper one you should be prioritizing this exam over some of your other A levels for example. I know a lot of people who did really well in paper one or up, uh, or claiming they did really well in paper one and so in, in that like scenario if that's you I think you should be focusing more towards the other A levels but obviously I don't want to say ignore A level maths right but it's more a case now because now we're quite far ahead into this A level season to really be focusing on the subjects and uh, exam papers that you're weaker at and making sure that those are good enough. There's no point really apart from your own ego I guess to get like near 100% for both papers and put all your effort into every single one which I do recommend make sure you do as well as you can right I'm not saying that but if there are if you're putting that at the expense of another subject and you know that there's another subject that you need to go over but you're not then you can kind of see the problem right so I think for me what I'm doing for this exam is I'm not doing much purely because I think paper one has left me in a good good enough state that if I just even do average in this paper I, I should be a very comfortable position so I'm putting more of my focus towards other subjects now because I have a lot of other exam papers in this season right now around this time that I think I'd probably be doing worse in that I should put more focus towards so I'm still going to be going over the different topics and stuff in this paper especially the ones that didn't come up in the last one and making sure that they are as good as possible but from now I think it's about priority and it's about what you should put your revision towards and what will gain you the most most outcome right I think that's the best thing you can do now if you're wondering exactly what to do for this paper I think by now it's just a case of finding really difficult exam questions and attempting those if that's your problem if it's the last couple questions or if it's the fact that you just forget certain like really small things in every topic to go back over the textbook and just make sure that you know everything that they're talking about there because you might find one or two things that you completely forgot about and if you hadn't gone over the textbook you wouldn't have realized but then focus as much as you can on those really difficult questions there was a playlist that someone left as a comment last video and I used it like day of my math exam I was watching through those videos and making sure I was able to do every single one of those questions it was so useful I really really am very grateful for the person who sent that I will leave a link to the playlist in the description as well if you want to check it out so I think that's all I have to say for a level maths paper 2 it's just a case of doing what you did in the last paper but also making sure that if you didn't do enough in the last paper to do more in this paper or if you did a lot for paper one to 
try and focus more on other subjects for this paper, right? But never become complacent. Never think, oh yeah, I did well enough in paper one, I don't need to worry about this exam. Make sure that there is always that sense of urgency and that sense of, okay, I still need to put effort into this because this is the only time you're gonna be putting effort. After this, after the next couple of weeks, you can not put effort anymore into these exams whatsoever, right? Then you can ignore them. Never stop putting that effort in and never become complacent with what you're doing. Always try and achieve as much as you can so you can get the grades that at the end of the day you deserve. So um, yeah, I hope this somewhat helped and it gave you a bit of motivation, I hope. But apart from that, I don't really have any other tips for this exam. So I want you to go back to your revision, make sure that you lock in. And if you have anything, leave them down below in the comments for other people, any sort of resources, anything like that, it could really help out. Any other tips that you may have yourself. I personally am not an A-level further math student, so I don't have that, that math caliber like a lot of you guys do so if there's anything you guys want to mention leave them down below in the comments as well but that's all i can say about this exam so best of luck i hope everyone's finding this exam season doable so far good luck guys i'll see you guys very very soon bye for now